hello it is a little echoey because i'm in my basement and there is nothing in here i'm hosting my family for the holidays and so i wanted to gather the space together there are a lot of us and although we have a good amount of space upstairs downstairs is just really not being used well and so i wanted to kind of spruce it up so i have a couple of different things i'm going to be using to make over the space and really bring some life to it um the wall color really bothers me but i don't know if i have time to do anything about it because they're coming in two weeks so <laughs> i've got two weeks to get this entire space together um starting with this massive couch situation that i bought from albany park which i talked about in my office makeover or office tour video um, my son just came <laughs> hi sweetie yeah boo boo yeah i'm making a video <laughs> so let's get started because there's a lot of work to do and i only got two pairs of hands so this is what the basement looks like let me actually take you from when he walked down the steps you walk down the steps like this <laughs> And then you have this really expansive space. I've now like put all these boxes here. I just slid all of them down the steps. Um, but we have like this one area here first, and then we've got another large area over here, and then a third area over here. This kind of goes out to the utility closet, and then that door back there leads to the guest suite. <laughs> so the guest bedroom, which is on the right side, and the bathroom is on the left side. So I am going to be bringing some life to this space right here. So I'm gonna start unboxing this Kova pit, um, which is from Albany Park. I got it in rust velvet. So I'm a little bit worried that the rest of the couch and this like weird wall color, <laughs> um, it's like a mustard. Actually, it's not terrible now that I, oh, sorry, ooh, excuse me, you're in my way. <laughs> um, but yeah, gonna get, start work, gonna get started working on um, setting up this couch. I finally finished putting together the Kova fit. I was almost gonna say Kova fit. The Kova pit, I'm exhausted. I managed to finish during the kiddo's nap. It is very comfortable. It was actually really easy to assemble. Obviously it would have been a lot easier if it wasn't just one person assembling it, but I had to do what I had to do. One of the things I really like about this couch is that it's modular. You kind of saw me attaching pieces to one another and so Right now, for the purposes of holiday hosting, I wanted the pit because, like for example, my brother um, and his wife have two kids uh, under the ages of seven, and so they can just, like this is definitely big enough for all of them to sleep. My brother's feet might be kind of hanging off, but they should all be able to fit down here. But I can also reconfigure it so that I can like move one of the, oopsies. I can move one of the armless chairs into the middle so that the middle part is longer and then maybe do like an L-shaped couch. So there are tons of options or even I could just move this to the other side or I could, I mean, there's just like tons and tons and tons of different configurations. So love a good modular sofa. Albany Park Home, again, black owned. I now have a lot of boxes to take out, but the setup was really easy. I now do need a nap though, so keep on, you know, stay tuned for what happens next. I was concerned about the color of the couch versus the color of the walls. Now that I'm seeing it together, I don't hate it. I don't hate it. The walls are like a very mustard yellow. They're not like landlord beige. They're not like an off-white yellow. It is a true yellow. Um, and I don't hate it with this. I think I just need to find the right um, like rug and the right throws to kind of bring it all together and pillows. I meant, I meant pillows when I said throws. We need a lot, this needs more pillows. Um, but yes, step one, have somewhere to sit and lounge. So I have this whole vision of showing y'all like every single piece, part of the transformation of this basement, but you know, the holidays, prepping for Thanksgiving, my family was just here and I couldn't record anymore. But I'm really, really excited to show you the finished product of the basement. I think that this space is 
absolutely like one of my finest works. <laughs> um, but more importantly, like when my family was here, they've since gone. Um, but when they were here, it was just a wonderful place for us all to congregate and hang out. And so I'm really, really excited to show you guys. And then I'll also bonus throw in a tour of the living room um, space upstairs. So you can kind of see the different vibes we went with for the downstairs um, media room. Oh yeah, it's now a media room. A media room and then the upstairs living room. So without further ado, here is our wonderful, amazing Kova pit, which actually I uh, reconfigured it so that it could be a sectional. Um, it's really easy to move. Like these pieces just snap together. I'm gonna unsnap. Ooh, nope. <laughs> you can just like move them around this is the ottoman if you wanted to move it if you wanted to put your feet up in here if for some strange reason you didn't want to sit in the nook you can just move it like this so i love a modular couch this can definitely fit like one two, like at least eight people eight to ten people um and then on this wall we've got this massive projector screen which is wonderful for watching movies or tv um, we watch a lot of Netflix on here and let me show you how it works. There we go. Yeah. And just like that, like it's just, just the perfect like hangout spot. This rug is actually upstairs, but it just worked better down here. And then I found this artwork. <laughs> let me put this down. I found this artwork at Home goods and Target. We kind of have like some fitness equipment here. There's also some other fitness equipment on that side. But this basement is so big, we put a ping pong table back here. And a lot of this stuff, the tech stuff and the games, were all courtesy of Best Buy. So thank you, Best Buy, for helping in that department. We folded up the ping pong, I folded up the ping pong table so that I could practice because I lost every single game that I played over Thanksgiving, including to my seven-year-old cousin, which is really embarrassing. So I'm now gonna practice so that next time, nobody can tell me nothing. Um, so we've got the ping pong space back there. And then on that side, there's like a bench and some weights. So this is just an area where we can hang out, chill, um, I'm really excited to host friends here. We've had a couple friends over, but no one has seen, no one outside my family has seen this downstairs space yet. And it's, it, I think it's absolutely beautiful. So, oh, and this couch, quick review. My mom, <laughs> my mom said this is the most comfortable bed she's ever slept on. Not couch, she said bed. <laughs> I've taken a nap on here. Our kid who has refused to sleep in his crib during the day was knocked out in two minutes on this couch. Um, so if you're looking for a really comfortable couch, and again, like you, if you just wanted to get this size, like a two-seater, you can order a two-seater, or you could do a full three, four, five, ten-seater. You could do the pit style. You, you could just like configure it however you want. That's the beauty of a modular sofa. Um, love the color as well. I thought it was gonna clash with the walls, but we made it work. We made it work. So this is our basement, and now I will show you upstairs. All right, so our upstairs living room, which is actually our main living room, let me not even pretend as if we like have two living spaces because it's just like three of us here. But this is our main living room. Um, this is our Joybird couch. It is the Briar sectional. We have it in this fabric called Sumbrella, which is like essentially stain resistant. It's really, really easy to clean. And so this is like a very like light gray color. It's called Premier Fog. Um, and perfect if you have little kids because our kid spills stuff and gets his like hand on stuff and we just like wipe it up and clean it up and I paired it with these pillows these ones are from uh, ruffled thread and then these ones are from home goods um, this pillow actually came with it and this throw is from home goods this coffee table is one of my favorite things in our house it's just so, the variation in the wood is so beautiful it is the Hudson coffee table by Joybird and then on this side of the living room, we have this chair that Jonathan doesn't like, but I love. It is the Hazel chair by Joybird. It is like a like a safari style chair. So this it's just really like leather on wood, but it's just such a nice chair to slouch on. And so I like sitting like this and reading or talking to whoever's on that side. 
Um, and if you are sitting in this chair, you have a really beautiful view of the kitchen, which I hope you saw in the last video. And then on this side, you've already seen um, the DIY media console. I have changed up the greenery on this side. This faux olive tree is from Target. And then this tree or plant is from Ikea. This doesn't typically live here. We just moved it here to get some extra light because you can see my little office fiddle is struggling. Um, and then the rug is from Home Goods. Actually, the rug that is currently in the basement used to be here, but I was in Home Goods one day, saw this rug, and was like, this is perfect for the living room, so got this here. So this is our wonderful living room special. Thank you to Joybird for really helping make the transition to South Bend a lot smoother by providing me with this wonderful furniture to ground my living room. And a little sneak peek, I haven't like finished, finished, finished my dining room, but here it is in its current state. We have this uh, table, it's by Crate and Barrel. I have some reservations on the table, so I won't necessarily recommend it. It does, it just scratches easily. So if you don't mind scratches, or if you're gonna use a tablecloth, that's fine. We bought it on sale, so it was like $600, which is a great deal for a dining table. This bench is actually in the laundry room, but it was moved here for Thanksgiving to seat more people. And then I love these like wishbone chairs. These are by, what's that company called? I'm forgetting, but it will be in, on my website. Um, and then my son's little, this is where, he, this is his dining table. <laughs> this is where he has his meals. His kitchen is also here in the dining room. Um, so this is like our main living space again the kitchen kind of flows into both the living room and the dining room. So that is the tour of the living spaces of our home, our basement living room, like media area, as well as our upstairs living room, completed living room, um, as well as our dining room. And yeah, it's taken like four months to get all of these, four or five months to get these spaces together, but I'm really happy with how everything has come out so far in the new year. I, I don't, know like if or when I'm, what I'm gonna change, but I'm very, very happy with how things look. And I just feel like the house is just warm and cozy. Like it even feels warm as if the fireplace is like giving real fire, even though it's just on Netflix. <laughs> But yes, I hope that you all have a wonderful rest of your 2021 and happy new year, happy holidays. And I am excited to have been able to show you this little snippet of my home. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.